Okay, so there's one more thing that we need to talk about. And uh, if it is, if you are going to be sharing your code, if you're going to be collaborating, or really even if you're just saving code now on GitHub, uh, it's a good idea to actually save your the author name and author email, which is like your name and your email. That way, if anybody's looking at the code, they'll know who made those commits. So if you remember, uh, I have I have mine set, so Matt Casanova, and then the, that my email address. Uh, so this is set in a file called the git config file. And there's a couple of different levels of files of these config configurations, but we don't need to worry about that. We're just gonna set one for the for the entire computer and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. So you can actually check this out by doing git config dash dash list. And you can see a whole bunch, a whole bunch of these are just defaults. I didn't set all these up, um, but a, a couple of ones, whoops, sorry. A couple of ones that I did set up is my user.name and my user.email, okay? So those are gonna be the most important as you're working, um, saving your, as you're working with other programmers or just, like I said, if you're saving it on GitHub, you probably wanna do this, it's a good idea. So the way that you do this is git config, and then, like I said, we want to set it for our, our entire system, which just means anytime we have a repo on our system, it's going to use that, uh, or like it's going to use these values. So we're going to do dash dash global, and then we want to set those, at least those two values. So user.name, and then uh, because my name has a space in it, like everybody's name has a space in it, I need to use these double quotes. Right. Otherwise, it's it's only going to read that first value. So if I don't have the double quotes, uh, it would think my name is just Matt and then stop at the space. So I want my name to be listed as Matt Casanova. So I need those spaces or I need those those quotes there. OK, so I do that and then get config dash dash global. I'm going to say user dot email and then I'll change my email. Matt at, oh, can't type, kojo.io, okay, do that, and then let's do dash dash list again, and then you'll see that at the very least my email did change. Uh, if I do git log, you'll, you'll notice that it didn't change anything about the old commits. Those old commits, as far as git knows, were saved by this this user whatever was in that config so it's actually a pretty good idea to save like as soon as you start any new project uh or like before you start any new project you should have your configuration set up i didn't want to do it right at the start because i wanted us to see what git was all about but once it's set it will be used forever so that's enough git to actually get you started uh, we're going to be using it throughout all of the courses Eventually, we are going to do more of a deep dive into Git because there's there's a lot more that we can learn. But uh, as you're starting out, there's no reason to learn. There's no reason to, to force you to learn everything all at once. Uh, we're just going to get you used to committing and pushing and pulling. And, uh, you know, you're on your way to getting a job in no time. Anyway, uh, we'll see you in the next course.